I'm in the Cairngorms uh, National Park here. And um, I was driving up the, what's called the Snow Road. And I saw this building from the, um, from the roadside. There's a parking area. And um, it leads down the short valley, which is to my right side here. There's a river running alongside. And about halfway down the valley is this building, which is called the Lecht Mine Building. And I couldn't resist coming to have a look and it's so uh, asking for a photograph here. Kind of a James Popsy style. You know, you've got the old historic building in the landscape. But that's what interests me as well. But, um, coming closer, uh, the, the viewpoint changes, so you get some sky in the background. So I might walk back and put my long lens on and try and get a longer view um, so I don't get the sky because in the background there is actually a hill and the, the sun was hitting the hill so that, that will make a good background to the building. Right, just walking back from the building because I want, as I mentioned, a longer view. As you can see as I'm walking back um, the sky is becoming less obvious it's kind of dropping out of view and you've got the hillside behind the building so I'm going to get a longer lens and get a sort of a closer crop but I don't want to make the building too small in the centre of frame I want to give it some breathing space so it's just getting the right distance and the, the right focal length um, get the best shot I can. come to visit is called the Mew of Dinit. But it's kind of a secluded sort of a gorge really. You've got natural rock formations uh, just along this trail here and the other side there's a there's a lock and a, a wider nature reserve so hopefully I can get some good photographs here. So the weather's a bit uh, it's turned uh, it's not as sunny and warm as it has been. It's a bit cloudy up there. It's trying to rain. It's just a bit of a drizzle so I'm not going to get soaked but yeah there's no light so hence my tripod. Uh, 
but it's calm so I should be able to take a longer exposure if I need to um, where I don't have the light. Fun. <laughs> Walking through that gap there to get to this kind of a it's like a big cauldron. It's a bit of an echo as well. Amazing place. Just about walk here without getting my feet too wet. See the waterfall behind me there. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can grab a photo or two here. Pretty amazing places. I've just made my way over to the back of the waterfall. There are some steps to one side. So looking behind, that's the top of the waterfall. And steps to my side there, so I've made my way around through this little gorge. Yeah, got a bit busy down there. Um, group of people turned up while I was trying to take photographs. Uh, I managed to get some photographs before they arrived. Um, I couldn't really talk through the, through what I was doing there. There's too many people around. So I just made my way up here, um, further upstream. I'll have a walk up there, see if I can follow the path. Photos of the waterfall, I used a polarizer filter because um, it's recently rained and uh, the leaves are saturated. So I really wanted to bring out the color in the, in the foliage. And uh, what also helped just to slow the shutter down a little bit. I didn't want too long a shutter. So I think I had a shutter speed between a half and one second there just to smooth the water slightly in a waterfall, but not too much. Um, but I was able to use ISO 100. It's really calm here. There's not a breath of wind, so there's no movement in the foliage. And I just tried the various compositions there uh, best I could with working within the space I had. <laughs> 